This video will demonstrate how to display relative date periods in a cube data source. In a relational or flat file data source, as long as you have a date field, it is very easy to show a relative date field filter. All you need to do is just drag over a date field, select like this, choose relative date, choose the time frame that you want, and then right click again to display that so that way your end users can control how many months, weeks, quarters, days, or years they'd like to see. Well, in a cube data source, you don't have that capability. But this can still be accomplished using two simple Tableau functions, which I will now demonstrate. I'm going to create the two functions one by one so you can see what they are. I will display them as a label. And then I'll create the calculation using those two functions and display that as a label and put it up on a filter um, and then show how the users can control that to see how many periods they'd like to see. So first, we'll start out using the size function. The size function, we'll actually put that on a label, will actually show how many rows are actually returned. So I'm looking at, at years, that's my date period, and it actually has 10 marks, as you can see down here on the, on the left. So size returns the number of rows, which is uh, also the same thing as saying 10 marks. Now, I'll use the index function, which actually returns the row number. And we'll display that as a label too. And so we can see at point 10, that's row 10. Actually, the, the tenth mark, uh, where we're showing 10, that's the number of rows that we have. And this is actually the tenth row, ninth row, eighth row, seventh row, sixth row, and so on. So now I'm actually going to create a calculated field using both of these functions. So we're going to take size. And what I want to do, because I, this is going to display for the end users, so when, if it has the, the, the index, when it's being subtracted from the size, when they equal, I want it to actually, I don't want to show zero. Uh, so I want it to show one so it doesn't confuse the user. So I'm going to say size plus one. And we'll put that in parentheses. But then we want to subtract the index. So I'll call this relative date filter. And we'll add that to label two, so you can see that the difference. So there it is, period one, two, three, four, five. So now, I'm going to take that filter, and or that calculated field, and put it onto the filter shelf. And I want to say, at most, so no more than five periods. OK. And then we'll display that. So now the end users would be able to see the, the last uh, n number of time periods here. So same thing as doing it in a relational data source, but now we're doing it in a cube to be able to, that way we're not seeing, the end users are not seeing all the date periods. They can if they want to, but they have the ability to control that with this filter by using the size and index functions.